One of the biggest games at E3 this year is Metal Gear Solid 5, but there might be something to worry about. According to a European PlayStation Store pre-order page, MGS5 will feature in-game microtransactions. If the page is accurate, it means you'll be able to buy items without actually earning them by playing the game the old-fashioned way. We're still waiting for more details on exactly how much you'll be able to buy, but either way, this is sure to be a big disappointment for hardcore gamers. Microtransactions have been creeping into other big AAA games following their success in the mobile marketplace. Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, will sneak out this September. Let's take a break from the E3 madness and talk about superheroes, my next favorite subject. The next season of Daredevil is going to be even more punishing than the first. Marvel has announced that The Walking Dead star John Bernthal will join the cast of the next season as Frank Castle, a deadly vigilante better known as The Punisher. This will be the character's first appearance in the shared Marvel Cinematic Universe. And given how violent the first season was, it seems like he'll fit right into the show. The second season of Daredevil will hit Netflix next year. Marvel is working on three additional shows for the streaming service, all of which will take place on the mean streets of Hell's Kitchen. You really should be thanking the nut in the mask. My pal Barissa is here now to help me talk about these very big developments. And in all of this huge E3 madness, Marvel is expanding their universe a little bit with John Excites. Bernthal. I mean, what do you think about him as Excites. the Punisher? I loved him in The Walking Dead. He was great, Absolutely yeah. loved him in The Walking Dead. And, and certainly that's a character that is very gray and yes. he is hunted by other superheroes a lot. Good casting, yeah. but I think Thomas Jane was terrific as the, mm. the film version of The Punisher, even if the movie wasn't that great. He was very good. That's the problem. Uh, and, he's, and so now John Bernthal's kind of in that shadow, but I think uh, they've done such a great job with Daredevil, and they've sort of created this awesome stage for a hero like that. Yeah. It could be great. I think it's, it could I, be great. I think it's going to be great. Yes. I believe this guy. Yeah. I, I believe he'll make an amazing Punisher. Well, he commits to his roles. He's, he always, he's always fun to watch him, whatever he is in. Absolutely. All right, now, the other big news is Metal Gear Solid. Solid 5, is it going to have microtransactions? Can't confirm that right now. No, uh, it's all speculation. But it would, wouldn't be that surprising, you know, given that, the, given that this is a very expensive game. I'm and, not surprised at this news at all. And, yeah, and certainly Konami has been pretty upfront about the fact that they have to look at their bottom line and they've got to think about their finances and their mobile stuff is doing well and there's lots of microtransactions there. I don't know what you there. Caught, but I just did there, but it was an eye roll. Yes. Uh, when you said the bottom line, I understand that, I get it, but as a consumer, it's just, I I've had enough of these things. Yeah. I hate the I hate the whole idea of pay to win. And if this is taking place, yeah, in this game, I'm going to be very upset. the experience, because just this, like I did with the Assassin's Creed Unity. Right, for because sure. I feel like with the Metal Gear franchise that these games are a pure video game experience. Yeah. And I don't want this to come in and now taint the whole thing. Yeah, you shouldn't ever, I think, feel like you you sit down or you experience something within the game yeah. that's asking for a handout. You know, right. like maybe in the menu you can choose to purchase new downloadable content, yeah. but if you're actually in the adventure, in the middle of a game, it feels a little weird uh, to have the game ask you for more money. You know how much I hate that. I know, and it's going to be very strange, and maybe that's part of the, the reasoning, you know, is the, that, that's happening with the rift between Kojima and Konami right now. I mean, maybe it's this new sort of focus on financials. I hate the microtransactions. I know. But, Vic, we've got to move on now, because Gearbox, they have a new one. It's called Battleborn, and you got to take a look. I did. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.